I almost started out this video by saying happy Monday left of awesome and then I realized it's Wednesday whatever <clears throat> okay I've been gone for like over like two months or something or not over two months because I suppose I vlogged when I was in Utah with uh, Nathan but uh whatever I've been gone for a while I've been busy I'm sleep deprived what with state testing and being in plays and blah 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 anyway today I was going to discuss something idiotic a senator from the Bay Area said on his Facebook, but something else that I thought was far more pertinent, uh, or not necessarily pertinent, but more uh, of an important thing popped up on uh, Tumblr this afternoon. Um, a woman by the name of Kiana Theroux, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, is a 27-year-old outspoken Iranian LGBT rights activist. Um, a filmmaker and an actress and she was filming a documentary and clips of it leaked and were discovered um, by Iranian, tele Iranian intelligence uh, and agents started following her around Tehran and harassing her and intimidating her so she ran away to uh, England because she was being harassed and uh, so she got a starring role in a movie called Cul-de-Sac, which is a documentary film uh, produced in the UK uh, about the condition of the lesbians in Iran and is heavily based on Firuz's life story. Uh, and it's premiering in London in a few days. The trailer, posted on YouTube in December 2009, attracted like tons of media attention, thousands and thousands of views, and some of those were from members of Ahmadinejad's, or however you pronounce that, his uh, puppet media team in Iran. They So they know who Firuz is. They know what she stands for. In Iran, being a lesbian and engaging in mature acts with other consenting women, the punishment is a hundred lashes. This can be applied up to three times. She could be whipped three hundred times. And then, if she's convicted of unrepentant homosexuality after a fourth violation of this Iranian law, she will be executed by hanging, probably in public. So, Obviously, because she could all very easily be deported back to Iran because she's not legally living in England, she applied for asylum from the English government. And they denied her. She applied for an appeal. The judge denied her appeal. This woman, if she gets deported to Iran, is going to be executed for being a lesbian. <laughs> Or it doesn't say in the um, article whether she's actually... Or I guess that the movie's based on her life, but probably she is actually a lesbian. But it does not say explicitly in the article she is a lesbian. But she depicted explicit lesbian sex in the movie. And she's this really big proponent for human rights in her country. And the worst part is that this story isn't in the news. They're going to kill this woman! For, for having sex with other women and for defending the rights of other women to love other women and human rights in general. And it's not everywhere in the news. If Iranians were going to persecute an American for being American, everyone would flip the fuck out. But no one this story isn't out there and that's what's so frustrating about modern media is really really important information doesn't get out there and so attached to this like article I came across on tumblr is a petition to try and get the English court to appeal the denial so she can stay in England and doesn't get murdered by the Iranian government so uh, I'm gonna put a uh, link to the petition 
in the, well, I guess it's not the sidebar anymore because it's down there, but I'm going to put a link down there to the petition and seriously sign the petition. It takes like 30 seconds. All you need to do is put your name and your email address. There's only a little over 11,000 signatures right now. Please, just, it'll seriously take you like 30 seconds. So everyone, please sign the petition and just sign the petition and send people the link to the article and try and get this information out there because this is awful. This is awful. Uh, so everyone, have a pleasant evening, have a good week, have a good weekend, blah blah blah. Uh, don't forget to be awesome and sign the petition! Now, do it. Okay, bye.